On November 19, 2024, the Australian Department of Defence revealed a significant step forward in the trilateral defence collaboration between Australia, the United Kingdom, and the United States. The three nations have united under the AUKUS Pillar 2 framework to accelerate the development of hypersonic weapons and associated technologies. This initiative, known as the Hypersonic Flight Test and Experimentation, High FLITE Project Arrangement PA, is a strategic move to bolster both offensive and defensive capabilities in response to rapidly evolving global threats. The High FLITE Project Arrangement formalizes the collaboration between Australia, the UK, and the US, combining their extensive technical expertise and resources. This agreement stems from the AUKUS Defense Minister's meeting held on September 26, 2024, where the leaders of the three nations prioritized advancing hypersonic systems. The High FLITE initiative embodies both innovation and urgency, aiming to enhance collective strike and defense capabilities, addressing the pressing need for cutting-edge defense technologies. At the core of the AUKUS partnership's hypersonic focus is the integration of each nation's existing efforts. By leveraging shared testing facilities across Australia, the UK, and the US, the nations will conduct multiple hypersonic test flights, which are pivotal in validating hypersonic concepts and accelerating critical enabling technologies. The goal is to move beyond theoretical designs to real-world applications at an accelerated pace. Hypersonic weapons are a critical element in modern defense strategies. These weapons are designed to travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, and offer the flexibility to be launched from land, sea, or air platforms. Their remarkable speed and maneuverability enable them to strike heavily defended, time-sensitive targets at extended ranges. This capability ensures their survivability against advanced threats, a key factor in the ongoing arms race. The development of hypersonic weapons aligns with Australia's 2024 National Defence Strategy, which identifies hypersonics as an essential capability for maintaining operational superiority and safeguarding national security. As global security challenges increase, hypersonic technologies are seen as vital to ensuring that Australia, alongside its AUKUS partners, remains prepared to face complex and emerging threats. The AUKUS Alliance was established in 2021 with a primary goal of enhancing security and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. Beyond hypersonic weapons, AUKUS focuses on the development of nuclear-powered submarines for Australia under the SSN AUKUS program, as well as collaboration on advanced capabilities like quantum technologies, artificial intelligence, and cyber defense. Recent efforts to expand the industrial and workforce capabilities of AUKUS nations highlight the growing commitment to this strategic partnership. Australia has committed 4.6 billion Australian dollars to support the UK's submarine production, particularly in reactor manufacturing by Rolls-Royce. In parallel, the workforce at Barrow in Furness in the UK is significantly expanding to meet the demands of the program, further emphasizing the scale and ambition of AUKUS. AUKUS' focus on technological collaboration and the expansion of military capabilities, including hypersonic weapons, is a response to increasing geopolitical challenges, especially in the Indo-Pacific. With China's growing influence in the region, AUKUS seeks to maintain a balance of power, ensuring a free, open, and stable environment. However, the agreement has stirred controversy, particularly with China, which views the partnership as a potential trigger for regional instability and an arms race. AUKUS represents a transformative approach to defense and security cooperation, one that leverages advanced technologies and strategic partnerships to address the dynamic challenges in the Indo-Pacific. As the High FLD initiative propels hypersonic weapon development forward, the AUKUS partners are positioning themselves to maintain a technological edge and strengthen their collective defense posture, ensuring they remain ahead of emerging threats on the global stage.